Hi, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and today I'm going to flip you through the latest flyer book for paper lovers. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do a little bit of an introduction and then we will be doing a flip through with music. Last year I would literally talk you through the entire book. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a silent, sort of silent flip through. We just have to see if I need to clarify a couple things because there are a few things in here that are very obvious, such as letter writing paper, but there's also a couple things in here that you might not understand right away, such as keyboard stickers. <laughs> so sometimes I might need to clarify something, but this is the flow book for paper lovers number eight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's the 2020 version of and it's uh, this thick. It has over 300 pages uh, filled with everything that a paper lover would like. Um, I'm in the Netherlands so I cannot really tell you anything about the shipping to different countries. I really suggest you check out the Flora magazine website for that. I also want to clarify that I'm not affiliated with Flora at all. I paid for this with my own money. I didn't get anything from Flo. I don't get anything from making this video. I'm simply making it because, let's be honest, these videos were super popular last year because everyone is curious to see what's in these books, which I 100% understand. So, not affiliated, not sponsored. I paid for this with my own money and I cannot really answer your questions about Flo magazine or their shipping. I got a lot of questions about that last year. I can't help you with that. If you have questions about the book, I can of course answer them. So the first impression was I received this uh, padded envelope this morning. I love, I love the design and what I also love is I didn't unwrap this. The flow book for paper lovers came without plastic and that is something new as well because previous years it would always be wrapped in plastic and they didn't do that this year which made me kind of happy. Then Real quick, first impression, and then I'll go to silent flip through. First impression is that I've just done like this a little bit. I haven't really looked at the pages in depth, but I saw a lot of florals, as you can see on this page, a lot of florals, a lot of simple designs, a lot of writing paper, um, a lot of soft colors, which I love. I also saw a couple things that I'm not too sure about, such as uh, blank here. This is just plain, wrapping paper I guess I don't know or it's actually tissue paper I don't know we will see um, when we flip, flip through it but for now just a real quick first impression is a more pos more positive than the 2019 one last 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 thing is feel free to speed this video up if you like Okay, the lines are a little bit difficult to see on camera, but these are a cut apart sheets and uh, you cut it and then you fold it into either an envelope or I'm guessing a gift bag.
Okay, these design pages are meant specifically for the notebook, this little blank notebook that you see here. Um, it's blank because then apparently you can decorate and choose the cover you like most. And then these are little labels with adhesive on the back to give your book a title. This sort of speaks for itself, but you can use the thin strips to fold into a, some sort of pyramid and you can fold the thicker strips into a heart, but I'm just gonna use the pages for other projects because I like the stripes. These are the keyboard stickers that I was talking about and this is wrapping paper. I haven't figured out how but you can uh, fold the labeled ones the labeled pages into gift bags and then the not labeled one pages are photo prints I don't know what I would do with that I think I'm just gonna use the back side of these and then this page is actually something I really really like it's a, a little puzzle a sticker puzzle uh, we had that in a flow magazine once you use these little stickers to create the puzzle and then you get that print that you see on the left. Quite like that, it's actually really, really relaxing and you can take it with you, um, unlike an actual jigsaw puzzle. That was the flip through of the flow book for Paper Lovers 2020 or number eight. My final thoughts on this are that I am sort of missing a certain surprise element, but the pretty prints and lovely pages make up for that. There's a lot of pages in here that are actually useful instead of a lot of those pages we had last year um, with folding. Uh, folding swamps and stuff like that that are fun for uh, just the once and then not so fun afterwards so a lot of useful pages this time a lot of pretty prints um, not that surprising but still I think a good book so let me know your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you again soon bye bye